Uh, oh, thanks so much for the follow, Ragnar811, now following PC Gaming. Anyway, getting into the match, this mic keeps... What is wrong with this mic? It's like a little, the little notch is like kind of off. Okay. Oh, yeah, Lucina and Nico. Nico getting uh, into game one on Pokemon Stadium. And this match, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be them constantly jumping around trying to air to air each other with their massive disjoints. Or it's going to be very, very patient. <laughs> Yeah. Right now, both of them trying to get some early percent on each other, mm -hmm. keeping things even. Wow. Wow. I think lot. he tried to dash past him or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was thinking like maybe he'll roll back or something, but right. wasn't expecting him to just stand there. So Nico able to push some advantage right now. So I never thought I'd say this, but Lucina seems to get outranged in this matchup. <laughs> so and I think because of that, she's gonna struggle either like well, ver everyone struggles getting off ledge versus uh, Nico and Shulk. But I think as Lucina's rather floating in the air compared to uh, you know the, uh, the other characters we see Nico usually fight against mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for Vladimir to get off the ledge or even land yeah. which is crazy because Lucina is usually the one that isn't super struggling with that because of her massive sword with massive massive amounts of shield stun and all that but Shulk just straight up outclasses her at her own game it seems yeah. finally gonna be able to make it out of the ledge he had like, a couple good recoveries too uh, mm -hmm. on the way doing some high recoveries mixing him up Vladim wasn't ready for it. Got him with the jump there. Couldn't catch his landing. Back in neutral. Got him with the immediate dash check. He couldn't react in time. If he gets hit by anything, he's dead. <laughs> One fair at the ledge will probably be able to do it. Doesn't catch the ledge, get up in time. Switches into immediate shield mode. That's interesting. Maybe because he thought he'd end up at ledge. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to get ledge trapped and die. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's right. interesting what Nico's Whoa. doing. Ooh, almost dead. Is he gonna make that back? Yes. Yeah, he will. It's interesting what Nico's doing. He's uh, at the ledge whenever he has the pressure. He just he runs forward like he's going to try to edge guard and then jumps back, picks a Monado arc. Right. So I want to see maybe if that's conditioning Vladin to think that maybe he can go keep going low and then he'll finally try and get an edge guard. I noticed that the top players in Smash Four, mainly the Cloud players, and in this game, uh, like like Leo and Tweak, what they do, they do something similar with Cloud. Is they make you think that. The pressure is like real. Like they, they make you think that they reveal the re relieve the pressure, and also wow, when did that happen? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Angel Platform invincibility got a little too comfortable. Right, forgot that option existed. So mm -hmm. what, what are you gonna do? Got him with the Nair into up tilt. And as I was saying, like, the ledge pressure, they make it think they make you think that you're safe. They lure you into a false sense of security, and then you know you brainlessly get up and then they punish you. <laughs> Nico's been doing it every time, so I want to see if it'll, well, when the when the mix-up is finally going to happen. Right. And he actually goes deeper. I think he's going guard. for something super cheesy. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> yeah. The probably an, I don't know if it was an accidental parry or what, but right. uh, what didn't react for the second parry. Mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't even realize that. Whenever uh, I see Nico dashing around like that next to the ledge with Smash mode, you immediately like I got immediately assume. All right, here comes the hard read to kill yeah. you at forty. The read yeah. to kill you at forty. <laughs> I mean, it almost worked too. He got a lot. Pretty of much did. <laughs> Wow. I'm so honestly low key surprised that that didn't kill, but. Wow. Alright, got him react. with a dash attack. Dude, Nico's use of dash attack in this match has been really interesting because that, you know, that move, not not the first thing you think of when you think uh, good burst option, but at the same time, the range he's doing it at, it makes sense. He's just reading whenever Valadin won't shield and then he does it. Right. Back air still has that crazy range from Smash 4. Mm hmm. What's he gonna do here? Wow. Yeah, another back air. Didn't get the sweet spot there, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, you are at a. You were in a horrible spot. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Was that down tilt? Yes. Just normal down tilt. All right. All okay. Right. Yeah. Just smash him out of down tilt. Just yeah. like, you know, just a down tilt, you know, in neutral. 135. Yeah, you just explode. No big deal. And it's a, it was a fast normal, too. That was a crazy part to also. I feel like if Vladin got under him there, instead of chasing him on the platform, he could have put himself in a much better spot to get a couple up airs in and maybe try to juggle Shulk. You know, juggling Shulk with Lucina when you have not as much range as him is not the most difficult thing because your burst options on the ground aren't super good. But at the same time, you can, you know, if you read him really hard, it'll work. Mm -hmm. How did he make it back? Yeah, low recovery. Try to get, like, a uh, stage spike into right. a Dolphin Slash. It doesn't quite work, though. All right. <laughs> Ooh, caught him with the caught his jump with the up air, and right now just have to wait out this shield Monado. Wait it out either by hitting him a lot or just not even playing the game until it runs out. Oh my goodness, he's, he's dead. super dead. Oh, no, never mind. Or, or <laughs> not? I guess I'm just so used to seeing it kill like characters. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Almost uh, he he went de deep for that edge guard. He was like, no, oh, no, no yeah. you're supposed to be dead, but didn't quite make it back. I mean, what does he have to lose besides the stock? Yeah. <laughs> and the game, and you know, sad. He's still <laughs> up a stock though. Backstroke. Yeah, he does have a hefty lead, especially yeah. his Shulk, because, like, oh, okay, caught his jump. That's one thing. If you're close enough to Shulk and you read that he's going to, you know, jump and do a move like every Shulk on the planet, and if you're fast enough, uh, you'll out, like, frame data him. You'll outspeed him mm -hmm. um, and hit him. That was his, like, main problem in Smash 4. In yeah. this game, it's been mostly... Wow. 
What? Yeah, found the All right. really I don't good. even feel bad though because that's like <laughs> he usually kills way earlier than that. Yeah. Yeah, but Shulk in uh, Smash 4, yeah, he, he did have that uh, startup right. problem. That was his biggest problem. Yeah. So um, if you can do that, then, yeah, you can kind of catch him off, but... He's not going to make that back. No. Yeah. I see what he's going for, though, or I see why he did that. Yeah. It was just a little bit too... He was a little too low uh, at the start of that air dodge. And game was going to Nico. Uh, relatively close, you know, somewhat. At first, it looked like Nico was dominating, but Vlad is sort of bringing it back, you know, calling out his jumps in the air, especially his short hops. He just, you just have to, like, fight him... Like to only to really kill him with Lucina, I think you have to get close enough to call him out. Right. Because if you call out his moves, the best you can do is respect them and avoid getting hit by them. Mm -hmm. You know, which is fine and good. But how are you going to do damage? How are you going to kill? Him? Right, getting into game two right now. Yeah, they uh, moved back to mm -hmm. Pokemon Stadium. So. Another thing too is uh, Nico's very experienced versus like Marth, Marth and, and Lucina. Pretty much the same, relic, like, you know, about the same character. Mm -hmm. He played them for or played Marth for like. His entire life, basically, so right. <laughs> he knows how all his moves look, mm -hmm. and I think that goes a long way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's getting a little bit out of frame data than the air to air right, right now. He decides to take it back a little bit, slow it down, use that Buster Art to make Vlad a little bit hesitant to try and go in right now, but that gives him an opportunity to get some burst damage here. Right. Does Shulk still have invincibility when he lands with Minato? Like the Minato switch? I have no idea, actually. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it I looks like he does, but I'm not entirely sure. Mainly mm -hmm. because Nico wasn't really abusing it versus me. Also, walking shield grab or walking standing grab with Shulk is way better than his dash grab when he's in speed mode. Mm -hmm. And it's actually frustrating when you look at it because it looks so dumb. It looks like it shouldn't. It shouldn't be the way it is. It just kind of like zoom. All right, he's jump. Right he's okay, doing. He's yeah. doing an excellent job right now with the lead. But you might see that lead. Slowly, not even slowly, just instantly like, just disappear because he's in smash mode and at the ledge. Jeez. And I like how Nico, when uh, Vladin's trying to land, he waits till the very last second to see if he tries to use that last option, which is that directional mm -hmm. air dodge to make it back. And he's been very hesitant to actually press a button to try and catch him while he's coming down to the ground. Right. Because against Lucina, if, you, if you're not perfect or if you don't guess right, you could get reversal by her massive sword. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think Shulk can just... Ooh! All right, caught the caught the roll in. It's Vladimir right now. Up a stock versus Nico. Yeah, caught that pressure. I mean, he was at high percent, so sometimes the psychology tells you like, mm -hmm. oh, I gotta go back to center stage right. before things get bad. He doesn't want to die. Spot dodge. Spot dodging in this game is like, it's much better simply not because they like buffed it or anything. It's simply because your other options are so much worse. Oh my goodness. Nope, Didn't really get the good kill. Care. Wow, yeah. dude. How, is Lucina like heavy or something? Like, what is going on? Yeah, she's like medium ish weight. Right. Uh, I guess we just see Nico fighting like foxes and, and like little characters so often that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to Buster Art. He's gonna try to do it here. What's he even bu Wait. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, he's going for that. Right, 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 right. Oh, Got him with the back air. Wow. Alright, yeah. so Nico taking his first stock. Pretty much even game right now. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty entertaining to watch so far, too. He wanted to, I think he relied on, or counted on Nico just staying in shield there. F jumping out of shield in this game is like the new, what, what was like the best out of shield option in Smash 4? Uh, it's, like, it's like the new, I don't know, it's like the thing people do out of shield without thinking. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that's the new thing people do. I guess shield drop was just the thing people do without thinking. Yeah. But in this game, it's just jumping out of shield. Yeah, it is your fastest option. Oh, yeah. Too, so, I mean, it makes sense why you would want to do that, but mm -hmm. of course people are going to be able to read that right. later people on. Right, start calling it out. Got him off the ledge. Of course, uh, jump art is going to be able to give a little bit more. Jump art's uh, recovery is absolutely yeah. insane. <laughs> like the 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 distance he can go is is jaw dropping. Shulk in general is jaw dropping, but so is Nico and so is Vladin, and they're playing excellent right now. Wow, I think this. What? If he died, I would have been I would have been mad. I'm not even <laughs> playing. He fell out of his dancing blade because for some reason it's pretty inconsistent in this game, especially because he was in um smash mode. So yeah. more knockback on all the other hits. Mm -hmm. And right now the game is on pause for until this shield Minato runs out. Yep. <laughs> Uses that Nair to cover the landing. And the fair one more time. Gets the edge guard. Yeah, that time he tried to go for it. Uh, but Vladin was ready for it this time. Alright. I feel like they're both playing pretty much the same, like, they both have the same game plan almost. Mm -hmm. Right. Uses up this jump, goes to the shield art. Okay, yep. So Vlad is just gonna right, wait. Yeah, out game's on pause. Yeah, I like how he switches back out of shield art because he knows it's like, okay, you're not gonna play the game. So right. Let's and I'm at 171. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One more nair. Has him off stage. 
Whoa! I feel like if Vladimir like immediately like mashed something, you know, just like air dodge the form and mashed, I think it would have worked out because it would have killed. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. Up throw okay. killing. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Right, right, right. I think what happened was that because uh, wave line behind them is a mm -hmm. pretty good option, just it, especially if you're um, mm -hmm. a player that likes to react to right. ledge options. I think he was think just scared. Gonna jump and then, yeah. uh, you can air dodge down. Okay, so if Nico respawns, this is note for me, note to self. When Nico respawns and you're at high percent and he goes into smash mode, don't hit his shield. Because <laughs> he'll be out of shield. Right. <laughs> That's all he wants. <laughs> Alright. So Vlad right now with a pretty, you know, pretty decent lead. Mm -hmm. But of course versus Shulk, this could disappear in an instant. But he can also rack it up some more. Because Shulk is a, it's one of those characters where if you like, you really have a read on your opponent, like you, you can kind of body it. Oh, oh then the smash art forward smash. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit. Wow, dude, that's so clutch. Nico just, that stock just disappeared, dude. Mm -hmm. You know, in Smash 4, this thing called the elusive Nico stock, where he just zero to death you with the most insane stuff. Yeah. And that's, that happens so, that happens so often in this in that game, and now it's happening even more in this game. Mm -hmm. It just makes stocks disappear, dude. Yeah. Uh, I like the the very last uh, few moments of that stock when he was spacing with Nairs and back airs. He mm -hmm. wasn't trying to mindlessly uh, push forward when he noticed that Vladin was moving back away. Because uh, then he could have over pushed himself. He tried to fade back and then fade back into center stage. Make right. Vladin think he could try to get aggressive. That way he could push himself further mm -hmm. uh, to actually get that stock that time. <laughs> he just wow. ran away after uh, Dancing Blade wanted to. Right. Interesting. <laughs> There to up tilt, no more jump. Wanted to catch his landing there, but Vladim was, you know, drifted a little bit to the left. Didn't get to punish his up tilt though. All right, landed with fair, just like miss. Honestly, like you can kind of force Lucina to miss space or moves. If you see your landing, you just dash in, like dash in and shield. You don't even, you don't even have to parry. Just dash in, shield so close that you can just shield grab her. Right. Went aggressive this time, I'm making wow. back to the. Oh no, no is way. He dead? Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought he was about to push himself really far to get that yeah. stock, but uh, didn't want to. He has the range for it. Yeah. <laughs> Smash mode. <laughs> you get up, he's so scared. Like, what are you gonna. You just have to read him or react. You, you read one thing, react to everything else. You're like, okay. <laughs> Alright, backslash. He's able to sweep spot back to the ledge while having a large hitbox to protect himself, mm -hmm. too, as, uh, as he's coming down. Kata, okay, Kata's roll up. That was an amazing reaction. Wow. Rolls, rolls from ledge being a little bit different, like slightly more hard to punish in this game simply because they have a little bit less lag. Yeah. And because like if you hold shield to the ledge, you have to drop shield and then dash. Unless you jump out of shield. Oh, you got him with the up edge. Wow. He, was, he wasn't even in smash, was he? Yeah, he wasn't. I mean, uh, that's going to happen. Makes uh, sense. Yeah, he, he was he really kept him at the ledge for a really long time. Yeah, he got to high That's usually how the Nico match goes. He's a, he, the opponent is at the ledge forever. Good tech. Gonna make it back. Just knew that uh, in that positioning, there was not too much that Vladimir could have done, except maybe that uh, Dolphin Slash. When he, as soon as he ran off, he noticed that. Nico right now wants to get it. like an extra, like just a meaty lead right now, just like a seasoned lead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got him with the back air. All right, let's see how Vladimir's gonna clean this up. Cause Vladimir's uh kind of losing neutral like often now, and then when he does, he's like stuck at the ledge for almost his entire stock. And the Buster Arts wow. out. Yeah. I would try to get out of there, Vladin, oh. but... Okay, he's going to get a little right, bit Vladin got the reversal, 51 damage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep him at the ledge. Oh, he uses that platform to protect himself. Okay. I think he wanted to jump there, but he ended up just catching his walk-in. Mm -hmm. If he ran in, he just, if he just F-smashed there. Honestly, I think that was just like... Him doing like a, like a muscle memory smash forward thing, just dash grabbing. Yeah. He's gonna, oh, oh my god, he wow. just ran up at forward. It's so quick, art, too. Yeah. Like, if you don't like... Because he hasn't done that the whole set either. So he's so fast, you have to react, which you can. You can. It's possible. <laughs> False sense of security after that back air gets an up tilt. I'm surprised he was actually able to hit the floor there. Like that situation where Vlad was literally right in the center of the platforms. And he was like, all I had to do was just dash up tilt anywhere. Yeah. But Nico opted for the grab instead. Possibly didn't want to miss the up tilt and then get reversal, which makes sense. All right, get up attack. He doesn't wow. use that option at all, so he's going to be able to make it back. Vlad is just waiting for his jumps, which is smart. Oh, okay, good punish. All right. Yeah. One stock one stock apiece for both players. He goes up 2-0. Let's, we'll see if Vlad can make some magic happen right now. Or for the Dancing Blade. It really feels a little laggier in this game, or at least like when you miss it, at least. Like, it just feels. I don't even know if, I don't know if it factually is, but it just feels like you, know, you can feel it <laughs> in, your, in your soul when you're playing the scene or watching it. All right, this is big damage for either player, whoever wins neutral. Oops. Try to go for some crazy read there. Vladin not able to find anything. That's Dancing the thing. Blade goes through, yeah. The, not of a, like, 
they're they're kind of they kind of serve for both players. Like you see him in Smash. Okay, I can kill him early now, like as well as he can. You know. Oh, the back air just barely whiffed over Lucina's head. Oh, he's gonna make it back. He does not. He's never double by the back air. Oh, what? He could have killed him. <laughs> Didn't catch the. Switches oh. into shield mode. Okay, fourth stock Minato. Alrighty. Gets rid of it. Couldn't punish that because of how well it was spaced and because of how much range it has. Guess that What's distance? he gonna do? Oh boy, that's not good at all. Yeah, he's stuck. Like yeah. that's a you. What do you do there? If you air dodge, you're dead. Like you're just gonna lag. Even neutral air dodge probably wouldn't have made it back. Potentially. Yeah. And or he was too scared to go for it. And every time Valadin was drifting away from whatever Nico tried to do aggressively, but that time Nico just said, "Okay, let's." Yeah.